Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, it's Sorg. Uh, hey guys, it's Sorg, and uh, something a little different. Uh, I'm not in the studio. I want a webcam it like everybody else that's going to be on here today. Uh, but this is our best of 2011, an amazing year we had. Just going through all this stuff, going through all the footage, the memories that all, everybody else pulled out, and uh, you know, remembering back uh, to all the crazy stuff that happened this year. Uh, you know, thanks to all you guys that are been on the show, writing in the emails, um, and just participating, and all the great guests we had, uh, you know, including Johnny Gargano, uh, Dave Lagana of IWantWrestling.com. Uh, you know, we had our good friends Jimmy DeMarco, Joe Dombrowski, uh, Chess Flex, or Michael Facade, uh, all the comic guys that, that came on this year. Um, it just, uh, you know, I can't even think of all the people to thank for, for an amazing year we had. So, uh, here's a little bit of what, uh, I picked out for some best ofs. A lot of the other guys, as you're going to see here in a little bit, uh, they really got into a lot of the fun points, you know, on a Buffalo's in there, uh, all that kind of crazy stuff. And you're going to hear from them here in a little bit, but I decided first, let's go back to the beginning of the year and how we started it. Here's a couple clips from the fifth anniversary show. And after that, we're going to be looking at some of those great people that we talked to uh, in the fantastic interviews we pulled together this week or this year uh, with the Wrestling Mayhem show. And here's to a great 2012. And uh, hey, we're six years deep in this. Got to keep going. <laughs> Plenty of knives. Well, thank you. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's okay, reaching I'm down in his pants. pants. How can you be reaching for something that's not even there? Oh! Hate, 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 hate. <laughs> hate is gonna hate. Out back, Joe Dabrowski. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> also, on the PWO show, Michael Passad is gonna return February 20th. I assume he hasn't confirmed the booking yet, I don't think. Who is touching me? Oh, oh God, it's dirt as butt. Oh, Here's, yeah! Ah, right. Here's to another oh, five years! Five more years! Five more years! Five more years! Five more years. Oh, five oh. More years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it would not be wrestling by him. <laughs> you got what I need, but you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend. Oh, oh baby, you got what I need, but you say he's just a friend. It's a shame that he's not going to be working full time on the product anymore. But, you know, it's it comes down to the amount of time you want to invest in yourself. And that's, to me, the number one piece of advice I give any wrestler, anyone that works uh, in any job is what are you investing in yourself? If you go to a job and, and do a job for somebody and, um, you know, you, what are you getting out of it? And I'm not saying, you know, money or whatever, but if you're not growing as a person, if you're not investing yourself with a job, uh, you know, I don't know why you would be doing it. And to me, finding a job where you can grow as a person, and then I'm just simply talking philosophically, but skills and, you know, I've basically taught myself social media over the last two years by trial and error, as opposed to go, looking at it and going, oh, that Twitter thing or oh, that Facebook thing. I'm like, all right, well, let's figure this out. And I am no expert, but at least I feel like I can figure out ways to utilize it to the best possible way. And that's what we've done with Ring of Honor is the production budget is about as, as uh, or not the production, the marketing budget is about as expensive as a AAA battery. Uh, you know, that that's what we have to market the product. So we must find every possible free way to kind of get an attention on your product. Find enough, find enough. Ask another question. All so. right, well, Wyatt, Wyatt uh, asks, uh, would you consider replacing Vince Russo on the TNA creative team? Uh I'm open to working wherever uh, people feel like my skills are uh, would be best used. <laughs> uh, TNA, Dixie Carter, uh, we always have an open line to you and our suggestions. And I think uh, you need to go to IWantWrestling.com and contact Mr. At Lagana. And uh, but I guess uh, the first, you know, you tweeted out, you let everybody know you're all right. Uh, I guess the first question is, uh, on your end, where were you and, and how did it affect, uh, uh, your trip over there? Uh, I was, I mean, we were okay. We, we were in, uh, Osaka and mm -hmm. Kobe and all those places, uh, which were roughly like seven hours or something away from where the earthquake hit. Like I got a bunch of emails saying like, Oh, are you okay? Okay. I was sitting there on my laptop. I watched like a ton of movies. I watched like Inception and like Black Swan, which is effed up. 
mind you. Black Swan is really, I couldn't even fathom what was going on in that movie. Uh, I concur. I was sitting there watching all those movies, and uh, I get a bunch of emails asking if I'm okay. And I had no idea what was going on. He was like, we didn't feel anything where we were. Mm-hmm. Uh, until we looked up, there was a massive earthquake. Uh, we found that out. Uh, but where we were, nothing happened. I mean, uh, um, it's funny because, like, uh, I got all these emails, and Rich Swan, who I was with, uh, says, like, we good. And I was like, man, I'm going to tweet that. So I tweeted out, Rich Swan says, we good. Uh, funny thing is, uh, Chuck Taylor, uh, wrote out this, like, kind of nice, kind of, like, correct, uh, tweet saying, like, oh, like, people in Japan were okay, like, nothing's going wrong. Uh, Shima wrote out this, like, correct, like, oh, everything's okay. And I, of course, tweet out, Rich Swan says, we good. And that one, that tweet somehow made every single, uh, wrestling publication, um, on every wrestling website, the, in- the politically incorrect Rich Swan says we good, uh, tweet made it out as, as opposed to all the actual nice tweets. I don't know how that happened, but I, I yeah. laughed at that. I mean, it's short and sweet. That's, uh, that's Twitter. It was we easy good. to retweet. We good. We good. Uh, but yeah, where we were, nothing happened. Um, of course, like with everything going on with the radiation and stuff like that. And uh, our last two shows are supposed to be in Tokyo. Um, the final show of our tour was supposed to be in, uh, Arrival Kusuma Hall. And that was, uh, the big compilation gate pay per view in Tokyo. Uh, but because of like the rolling blackouts and all the radiation and stuff like that, there's supposed to be 11,000 people there. They had to cancel that show. That's like almost their WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Um, so they had to cancel it. So we were very disappointed about that. And we actually went home uh, five days early from the tour because they wanted to get us out of there as soon as possible just in case, mm. you know, anything went down. New York City. I can only, I can only presume uh, you're excited for Stan Bush being at the fan clay this year. <laughs> I am. I'm pumped with the fan conclave. I love the man, fan conclave. Man, you get to sit play Guess Who for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> with, I, with, did, with I Steve... did believe you did play with one Mayhem Missy last year. Yes. I did. I played I played about, I'd say, 75 games of Guess Who in a row. Uh, <laughs> you do not know the type... The, you do not know um, what it takes out of you to play 75 straight games of Guess Who. <laughs> you just are mentally and physically drained after you do that. <laughs> Uh, I think there's got to be like a limit set on how many games you're allowed to play because I was I was ready to go to sleep for about 48 hours after I played that many games of Guess Who, especially after probably having a match that night for night two. Yeah, like it's that's, it's that's I weird. was not. No, oh man, I regretted that decision in the morning. Well, okay, uh, was it the old school Guess Who? Guess Who, or was <laughs> it the new politically correct Guess Who? I think it was the old school one. Okay, so. If you ever want to do that again, all you have to do is just make, like, 23 copies of the black guy card. That's true. <laughs> and then give them that deck to pick from. And you, true. you'll just fly through the 75 I think the secret is games. you got to ask which color eyes they have. Because only a certain number. If they have blue eyes, I think they're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you should, next yeah. year, you should really just, like, take a, take a picture of yourself, put it as the Guess Who card, and then you'll beat every single person because you can just, you know, be yourself the whole time. I just start cheating and guess who on the fan conclave. I just start freaking putting money on that free fan conclave guess who game. Exactly. Old discussions end up being about comic books and movies and now, stuff. Now, have you guys so. ever talked wrestling comics here before? Like the the WCW well, and the... I, we, I'm sure we brought them up. At, at, I, th- I think it's been mentioned, we, we yeah. We talked to Mike oh, I, before, I talked so. about the... Uh, the new WWE heroes that came out like mm. last year, but mm. it just got so crazy. I guess it's tough kind of... to read and tough to look at. I just uh, speaking stopped. of which, our, our great chat room uh, brought us a pic of uh, some of the WCW oh, nice. comic. Yep, that looks like I don't even know who that is. That is cool. <laughs> Somebody named Z Man. And... <laughs> <laughs> Whoever he is, he's a heel. You know, I can how tell do you, you that not right know now. who the Z Man <laughs> is? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm obviously not a wrestling oh. or comic book fan. <laughs> 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 Wasn't Tom the Z-Man Zank. like Rick Rude? Tom Zank, uh, Sorg. Tom I can't... Zank, oh! When, when Paulie Dangerously was bringing in people and... Uh... There's some uh, Ron Simmons uh, super oh, jump he... kicking. Nice. He, Ron they gave him... he looks like he's Shaft from here. <laughs> 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 he's got, they gave him five panels to do a jump kick. I know. Well, and he knocks know... down three guys with it. Nice. It's... 
It's a powerful he move. So I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> I am. I, I are taking are. notes. Absolutely. I should have. I hope. I, I hope right after he lands with one, that jump kick, he just grabs a cigar and goes, "Damn!" <laughs> <laughs> with one drop kick, Ron Simmons has eliminated the natural and Arn Anderson and Big Van Vader. <laughs> And that was before the Nation of Domination days, right? That is, that yeah. is. <laughs> John Cameron, hey, what's... guys, do you want to see a picture from the Ultimate that... Warrior comic? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Do we? <laughs> <laughs> it's so and good. it's the Ultimate it's... Warrior taking down Santa Claus. Oh! His <laughs> oh, yeah, after he raped Santa. <laughs> I remember that what? one. That was in a, uh, that wasn't actually part of a comic. That was in a Ultimate Warrior comic book poster book. <laughs> there was Wait, no thought behind it. Look, yeah. Santa is clearly drunk. There's like <laughs> bottles and shit laying all around him. Oh and the God, Ultimate Warrior has this? just got that done ravaging his <laughs> jolly old asshole. That, hey is, that looks wrong. Whoa. I apologize to audio listeners. Actually, I apologize to the video watchers, I thought that too. Santa would be a boxer kind of guy. Whoa! <laughs> uh, dude, <laughs> Alcohol, Santa's like, getting raped by the warrior. <laughs> oh, that's man. tremendous. Oh, that's, um, oh, that's filthy. I need to take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you for the last time, no, and you've got to stop calling me. Seriously, no. Vince, how much shit have I written for you this year? How much? That's right. Everything that sold. Every night you got a high rating, and every word that see it came out of CM Punk's mouth. I mean, come on, man. We here at the Wrestling Mayhem Show can't do all the work for you unless you start paying us. Okay? You vultured our shit long enough, and now you're calling me personally to get you out of this dilemma? Fuck you, Vince. No, man, I ain't helping you with shit. See if you can get uh, Shane or Linda to help you out. Oh, I'm sorry, is that a touchy subject? They fucking left your ass in the dust? Oh, God. He's crying. So are you, are you actually, I'm sorry, are you actually Scottish or are you British or what it's... Uh, I'm, I'm English, from there? but um, I, I've kind of moved up here for a temporary basis just so that we can get this game out and uh, and things are going good, so... Man, that's awesome. um, out of curiosity, uh, are you married? What? <laughs> no, unfortunately. Uh, will, will you will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to meet you too. <laughs> it's, it's, I have a, I can't help it. It's it's a knee jerk reaction. I I meet somebody. Um, with a, a, a lovely voice, and uh, <laughs> it's the accent. I can't. I can't control myself. I'm very sorry. No, he's he's true. I, I know that's that's him. Yeah, that's him. Anytime he meets someone with an accent of any type, he proposes. Not not of any type. I did. Uh, I to be fair, I met a British uh, girl at a bar one time, and I proposed immediately. Um, but I'm uh, I'm friends with a Serbian girl at work, and I have not yet proposed to her. So yet. But that we can yes. blame HR on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> Once again, on the nice. Oh, it's got dragonflies. There's Albert dragonflies Albert. on the uh, uh, stationery. And there's no subject. Uh, the Wolf's Thoughts on Failure has been cancelled until further notice. In its place is the brand new segment, Fuck What You Say! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I laughed when I read that email for the first time, and I, I walked around saying, Fuck What You Say! for like ten minutes. <laughs> Fuck What You Say! You know, I, I have to say before you continue, I liked the Wolf's Thoughts on Failure because the initials were WTF. Fuck what you say! <laughs> no, it wasn't. Exactly. What you say. See, that was a setup. Thank you, WrestleFan. Sorry, that was probably good. No, it wasn't. It was TWTF. Now that that's out of the way, let me first apologize <laughs> to my wrestling mayhem homies. LB, Sorg, Mad Mike, WrestleFan, Riz, Hot Wheels, and Chachi. My old email was hacked into, but alas, I got a new one. And I'm back and better than ever. My girlfriend just put me on to Justin TV, so I have been watching Great Wrestling 24-7. Let's just say my bullshit meter is through the roof. All right, I watched this stupid ass. Yeah, uh, I watched this stupid ass promotion with these old stupid ass wrestlers and stupid ass finishes. I think you know the show. It's called TNA Hardcore Justice. Their opening <laughs> match was the X Division Triple Threat Championship match. Wow. Before this day, I was a big Lucha fan, but now I've seen the light. This match was a complete no sell spot monkey fest. Fuck fest. fest. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Much better Excuse than me, the fest, I'm sorry. Shelly did great and was not the issue, but the pair of Kendrick and Aries did not put on a pay-per-view pay-per-view caliber match. To all those 
Aries and Kendrick fans who will give excuses for the clusterfuck match. Fuck what you say! And eat a donkey at- <laughs> Eat a donkey dick, you bitch ass ninjas! <laughs> the knockouts tag team titles was okay. No issues there, but wow, Rosita is fine as hell. I'd love to impregnate that little Rican. <laughs> <laughs> Rican goes to Rican! Yeah. Uh, now to segue, Devon versus the Pope was a great undercard match. Mickey versus Winter was okay. Crimson versus RVD, well, fuck what you say, TNA. That shit was <laughs> bullshit. How did Crimson go from Amazing Red's brother to fucking Goldberg? Ginger to Jew in TNA. I was, yeah, that's right. I was the first to say push the originals. Originals as Joe, Styles, and Daniels, not Crimsonberg beating RVD by DQ on on a butt fucking pay per view. <clears throat> Immortal versus Fortune was fucking epic. Great match, great finish, great job, TNA. Unfortunately, this pay per view went straight downhill from there. Damn, even the main event wasn't TNA proof. Angle had yet to defeat Sting cleanly, but it didn't stop there. Fuck what you say, in my black ass opinion. Why I turn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. All right, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Fuck in what your you black say. Ass opinion. Fuck what you say. But in my black ass opinion, why turn angle heel when weeks before you did the same thing to Anderson? Fuck what you say. TNA hasn't a clue what, what they're doing. <laughs> Considering the multiple shitty finishes, teasing turns, if I were a paying customer of this sad pay per view, I would have ripped my nuts off, fed to my turtle, and. <laughs> shed- <laughs> Ripped my nuts off, fed them to my turtle, and shed my ninja dick and donated it to a Chinese motherfucker. And if you don't believe me, fuck what, what you say. say. For that poor turtle. Oh my and god. There's a, and there's a picture of the cookie monster. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. It's, giving it's the ankle up. lock it's to John up. Cena. There That's correct. Is. And there's music too, but I don't know what that is. Spread, uh, spread my wings. We got you. We got Holy you. Holy shit. I need. To, I really. I need to start. I don't know if you guys out there have seen the movie Black Dynamite, but if you haven't, go do it. It's on Netflix, and it's the best movie ever made. And I need to start channeling Black Dynamite for these. Uh... Yeah. So you should have been playing this the whole time. Hold up. All right. The Wolf's thoughts on failure has been canceled until further notice. In its place <laughs> is the new segment. Fuck what, what you, you say. <laughs> Now that that's out of the way, first let me apologize to my wrestling mayhem homies. LB, Sorg, Mad Mike, Wrestle Fan, Riz, Hot Wheels, and Chachi. Word. See? This is save this, because we're fucking playing it every time he sends in an email. This is (laughs) perfect. Wait, wait, this is so is the wolf now officially homicide uh, not homicide, um Black Dynamite! No, not Black Dynamite. Can I read the uh, voicemail we got? ECW. Can you read the voicemail we got? Yeah. Can, can I read it in that voice with that music? <laughs> Line of the night. Shut your infant mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna punch well you in done, the face. Chachi, you win. <laughs> right through the internet into Texas. All right, what do you got there, Chachi? I Our, have. This is physical fan mail. Physical fan mail. Physical fan mail. You have there. This is re- cool. Physical. This showed up at my doorstep. Yes. Sent Fuck to. Uh, can shit. I have the DVD? They still do uh, physical it's, mail. I, it's, it's it's in there. We'll get it out. It's, wow. But you want to play it? Pull it out, sword. Well, I have to. Your teeth. I have to show them the DVD. Okay, this will take me a second. Explain. Uh, so, uh, Sorg sent me a picture of the envelope and the DVD in a case. And I don't know if you read the, the letter that accompanied... I didn't. I left it for you. The, the DVD. Mm-hmm. Um, but first, I have to compliment on the handwriting that you can't see because of the white balance. <laughs> 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 the DVD but, that said <laughs> in a pink case yeah. that says, well, you got to put it in there for presentation. I am. I am. I'm going to show. <laughs> this is the picture I got on my cell phone. Play oh, wow. me. <laughs> the DVD, all it Whoa. says is play wow. me. Wow. Now, <laughs> play me. All right. Now, there's several I'm things. afraid to see what's on this DVD. Exactly. There have been several bad moments in movie <laughs> history with DVDs. Bobby, Bobby of J-Town. It's like Saw. <laughs> exactly. Saw or The no, Ring. No, I don't want to play a game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean... Listen, I'm, I'm going to be specifically not looking at the DVD just in case it's like a ring-type situation. That's, that's yeah, I don't exactly, want a little girl popping out. That's exactly my point. But, uh, anyhow, the letter that accompanies, and this comes from... Uh, 
my new friend uh, YC Dub. That's what I'm going to call him. We're close like that. Uh, it says, Dear Chachi, if this does not turn you on indie wrestling, then God help you. <laughs> <laughs> this DVD you, right. will, you will pass on to your children. In parentheses, it says Chachettes. And your Chachettes. children's children, Sorg. I don't understand that what? part. Yeah. What? Wait, so Are Chachi, you having... you're Sorg's grandpappy? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we need to explain the lineage here at the show. It, 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 I, I enjoy, more confused. enjoy your craps week, YC Dub. Alright. All right. So um, uh, Sorg's gonna fire this up because I was told that I have to watch at least well, unfortunately I can't fire it right up because wait, is this it? It should be. Yeah. Um, I thought you watched it. No, I told you I didn't watch it. I thought you put some of it on. Well, here's the fun part. Uh, it's a high spots DVD, and I don't think I can I can skip past the commercials here, which are <laughs> like three minutes it's long. Commercials? I don't know. If, is this the right thing? Is this what I'm supposed to watch? And isn't that guy the guy from the documentary? Um, what is this? Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. What is this? Is it a large? Is that the Patriot? Bobcats Arena or a big Coliseum show or even the, the Park Rec Center at Charlotte. It was just a small show. It was actually held for somebody's birthday party. What is this? What the hell? This is $5 wrestling. $5 wrestling. <laughs> the fuck is so going on? <laughs> right now, there's probably a card going on at a, a local arena by your house. And all these companies Oh, this is the champions. beginning. What if we could send all these champions to one place, much like the Olympics, to represent these companies? Not They've much like that. the Olympics. Yeah, under one that's roof. That's a great green it, screen. Let me see if and, I can skip ahead. And I had won the belt from Charles Schaff. <laughs> that was the first time I've ever won the title. <laughs> and I've kept it ever since. O okay, you say at a church. Was it a wrestling show? It wrestling show. Okay, he's making sure it was a wrestling yeah. show. He it said a show. It was a re I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It was a wrestling show. It was a wrestling show. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, and and I'm going to beat Charles Schaff. And I've won, and I won the battle. This is well over an hour, Chachi. Oh this is nuts, an aerial nice. battle. Like, can you that, top this aerial battle? That was me in fourth what? when I got a little more. Wait, wait, wait. There's yeah. green the screen over it's like, top. It's like it Mystery Science the Theater. Yeah. yeah, you know, maybe a pube show. <laughs> maybe one pube. <laughs> one, two. That is just a notch. Nice wait, one. is that Mr. T is a referee? Are going to get to that next round. <laughs> I mean, let's hope we've got some oxygen. Okay, okay. This is a Chachi. Chachi. Wow. We're going to have a viewing party. Wow. I think we're going to have a viewing party. And yes, we're, awesome. we'll see. We, we'll do a perfect. hangout or something. That sounds and amazing. Watch this thing. <laughs> wow. This, this sounds like a really good idea. And it's this is the first mystery science theater. fan contributed exactly. DVD for, for our consumption. This wow. Is, we're we're going we're gonna to have a full report on this. Listen, I don't want to um, get ahead of myself. But this just may win. <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't watched that ghetto wrestling yet, or whatever, uh, the, that, the yeah, gangster. Urban championship yeah. wrestling. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I need to, but somehow, I'm just seeing this. And Mad, Mad Mike wants to wait till he comes down to the viewing party. <laughs> well, because, um... I, I... Look, look, Vince, no. Look, no, calm down, man. No. Oh, my God. No. No, keep your pants on. I'm serious. Please keep your pants on. I don't want to talk about Big Earl over the phone again. Look, I'll see what I can cook up for you, all right? I'll talk to the guys, all right? Maybe we can work something out, okay? Just remember, stop. You can't just fucking steal our shit, man. All right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, maybe a couple more storylines. All right, fine. Yeah, fuck you, too. I'm sorry. I get these phone calls at the most inopportune times. Um... So that, my friends, is my uh, my top three moments from 2011, um, and uh, I have to say uh, it has been an absolute pleasure uh, assembling these moments and uh, experiencing them with you, the listener. Um, so many moments that uh, that I chose had already been uh, been plucked from the ether by WrestleFan and Riz and and uh, the rest of the cast. Uh, it's uh, so enjoy the special. I hope you had a happy Christmas. Have a happy New Year's. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you for listening. See you next year. WMS, I, this is the one and only The Riz coming at you live from my humble abode in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ho
Want wishing you guys a happy holidays. Hope you're having a great time and a happy New Year's that is coming up. As we look ahead to the new year of 2012, we have to look back at the year that was 2011 for this for the this show of shows, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I have done something I haven't done in months, and that is create a top five list. I've created another top five list. That's how important this show is. Of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Number five. We start with everyone's favorite podcast award show about a wrestling podcast, the Mayhemies. And the first category that was up for grabs was the Contributor of the Year, which how I didn't win that was beyond me and beyond at this point of the video. But I did have got the next award that was up for grabs, which was, I think, Guest Host of the Year? I'm not sure. But I was ready to give a cool acceptance speech. I was ready to get get that great acceptance speech that Mayhemies needed. And then the Contributor of the Year, Big Freaky, threw me off my game, and uh, just, just, just listen. Well... Me and Mad Mike know personally that one of the greatest ways to uh, get yourself known here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show is through the emails and also through the voicemails as we recently endeavored. Uh, I have become a co-host, well, technically a co-host, because of my email. Same with Mad Mike. I am uh, officially a (laughs) co-host. A physical co-host, yes. Three times. Three times. I got you. I got you. Wow. And we have the nominees... For best contributor of the year, the nominees are the Riz, Boo, Boo, Sean Burkhead. I'm neutral. The on that Frenchman, one. P- the Frenchman Pierre Kelly. Oh. 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 Look, look at me smoking my cigarette. I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, You're too young. Big freaky. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck DNA. No, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> and the winner for this year's, as we see a very similar looking envelope, a, okay, <laughs> but who cares? Uh, Big Freaky, ladies and gentlemen. Boo. The best contributor Boo. of the year. I think he's like something, kind of our first heel voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and of course. He's uh, dedicated his crap. Big Freaky could not be here today physically or anything uh but he did submit in big big freaky fashion an acceptance speech via voicemail here it is in its entirety hello mayhem nation what is going on my tofu loving friend what what i think he, he either said kung fu or tofu it is i your Mayhemi award-winning contributor, Big Freaky. And I want you to know that just because I'm now an award-winning journalist in the field of wrestling, <laughs> I will like not a kid become an asshole like Michael Cole. This is where someone says, because you already are. But uh, <laughs> Because you already are. So, um, <laughs> I really have to thank my friends on Facebook who voted for me. And the people from my church who I ordered to vote for me. <laughs> he stuffed a ballot. <laughs> it was a fair ballot. But um, Sorg's never going to let me go this long again. But since nope. this is my <laughs> moment That's of glory, I would like to take this <laughs> moment to clear up something with one DJ Lunchbox. Uh-oh. Keep it, keep it going. Keep it going. Now, I was going to try to let this pass, but your impudent <laughs> attitude pisses me off. Up. Impudent? Impudent? Okay, lunchbox. Impotent? You disrespected me all those many months ago. Sorry, turn down the level. One, you said that you... Okay, one, I did not threaten you. Two, you said that if I didn't hurt you, you would talk about all that indie wrestling, and you didn't. I mean, you run down, uh, you know... The NWA this guy is from angry. the show like three years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Does he actually listen to the show? And you couldn't I even watch so. the show, the link that I freaking sent you. We've just upgraded to the indie 35-minute segment. Playing it. I mean, you heard it off of 
for the freaking website as you were reading it. How disrespectful is that? Wow. Whoa. And hey, it, then it gets you say that I'm going to rape Sorg, his wife, and his what? cat. What? What? And I completely wow. called you a That's raper right. earlier. Fuck, and I would never hurt animals. Wow. Two, it's not, it wouldn't be rape if I decided to engage with that with Sorg and Mrs. Sorg. It would be sodomy. <laughs> because they will like it. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on people to do freaky things. What the I get people to do <laughs> freaky things. Well... I'm sure Sorg is going to be long, so I just want to close this by thanking the Mayhem Nation. A win for Big Freaky is a win for the indie wrestling nation. Proof that you care about the indies. Wow, I still think he's a kid so, toucher. So wait, if this is proof <laughs> we care about the indies, wow. does that mean you can shut the fuck up now? <laughs> wow, I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. <laughs> that was the, that that your was wife? the scariest I acceptance like speech wife? ever. I think I'm getting a restraining order. Uh, because... <laughs> I think we have the Melissa Leo of our Mayhemies this year. Holy crap. <laughs> Number four. As you can see, there's a Hulk Hogan Wrestle Buddy on my head. This is for two reasons. One is to piss off Bella over here, my Westie. But the other is also a hint to my number four moment of the year, where Chachi had a shoe on his head to please the the chat room of the Wrestling Mayhem show on Justin TV and I didn't have a shoe I had this and Larry ensued be redundant <laughs> that would be like Kane versus Kane wouldn't it? The Kane versus Kane yeah exactly freaking deacon Hey, Kane. What up? <laughs> <laughs> now we're putting random shit on our heads. <laughs> that's, that's for you, Esquire. <laughs> what up? <laughs> I'm so sorry to the audio listeners. It kind of looks like a sombrero. <laughs> it, does. it does. Or it looks like you're trying to say. be... You're like a, a poor man's Raiden from yeah. Mortal Kombat or something like Make that. Make Chachi's hat. What are you? <laughs> there we go. Yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's like a real radio station now. <laughs> on. Get the mic. No, no. Get yes, the, exactly. Get the yeah, mic. Suck May, maybe a morning zoo. Yes. You know? um, what up? I oh. don't know what to do with that. Yeah. I really don't know what to do with that. Yeah, that happens a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a shoe, so I have a sock on my head. Uh, you guys have well, anything else wrestling wrestling news? That's well, what you she do said. have a sock on your head. Yes, I do. Wow. <laughs> Okay, this has reached that point of no return. All right, I think we got the news. <laughs> Tara is selling her van on oh, eBay. No. Oh. Oh. What's on her head? What the hell, Riz? <laughs> <laughs> is that a Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy? It's my Hulk Hogan wrestle buddy. That is amazing. That was a wrestling buddy. That is amazing. My buddy. And now it's that. Number three. This next video was from my grandpa. This next video was from a very angry grandpa. This video was from, well, THE angry grandpa who the Mayhem Show was introduced in 2011 by me. In this video, the angry grandpa sure is doing a good job doing our job. Here's the angry grandpa's take on TNA. Oh, you said it. Yes. <laughs> WMS! I could sit here and complain about TNA like I do every week. However, a few things happened last week. A. Impact was fairly good. Can't believe I just said that. 2. Jeff Hardy hacked Chachi's email last week. <laughs> and Q. The Angry Grandpa. Pretty much summed up everything there is to sum up about TNA. If you haven't heard The Angry Grandpa hates Impact Wrestling yet, just watch. Audio listeners, don't worry, it's filled with great lines that you can hear. Until the next time, enjoy the soothe soundings of <laughs> Angry Grandpa. Riz. And, and we do have video here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We, we, we're in techno technological. Yes, we are. There oh, he is. There you go. That's as much money as Impact Wrestling made on ticket sales last year. <laughs> Impact Wrestling. That's what used to be TNA. Yeah. Why did you change your name Bad Wrestling? Because nobody cared about TNA. Well, nobody cared about fucking Bad Wrestling. 
for those that can't see, he's definitely in a trailer park, and <laughs> he's a grandpa. And everybody's angry grandpa hates impact. Are you a dumb goddamn bitch? You have the same goddamn losers that fucking ruined WCW? And here's my impersonation of one of your wrestlers at fucking TNA in the goddamn grocery store paying for it. That'll be $120. EBT. <laughs> yeah, my goddamn, you stupid bitch. Why they got a little food stamp? You talking about going town to town having house shows? You're the biggest show of the fucking year. You can't even sell 2,000 tickets to. So, everyone wants to know you did. It could be the goddamn graveyard and the morticians. Because, face it, y'all wow. fucking dead. Hey, Hogan, I got one question. <laughs> did your son pick dead. up a boyfriend in prison? In this corner, what? we got Kurt Angle. In this corner, we got Jeff Jarrett. And the goddamn kids are in the middle saying, Daddy versus Daddy. What are you paying your resident? Goddamn candy apples, cotton candy, and goddamn giving them free rides on the roller coaster? Hey. I saw Jeff Hardy the other day. He was doing a goddamn Coca Cola commercial. I didn't show you he was going, Things go better with Coke. <laughs> and see him pump? I think he you get the idea. Daddy. I think what you get the you idea. Mean? Uh, but one thing uh, that strikes me is Grandpa watches, reads a lot of the internet. He does. I mean, he's, he's a very intellectual. He grandpa. is the oldest smart mark I think I've ever heard. He, though he, I mean, he definitely has to be very educated on uh, TNA since he clearly lives in Tennessee. Clearly, <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, that that's that, that's some nicely mowed grass there though. Um, <laughs> wow! Thank you, Riz, for turning that. Please send us videos, guys. Please send us videos. That was awesome. Number two, we're down to two already. Let's take a trip, shall we? Let's take a t trip back in time to two weeks ago. I wasn't sitting on this couch. No, 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 no. I was sitting in the Mayhem Studios. I was with Sorgatron, with Chachi, and especially with DJ Lunchbox. I was sitting there in my best, in my sweater. You know, I had everything going, and and I I was get it, given an early Christmas gift from DJ Lunchbox, and that gift was a label from Hobo Wine, and. I decided to do something that I regretted ever since. My tongue hasn't been the same. Well, I will get fed up with TNA and stop my weekly reviews of the product. What the hell are you doing over there? What are you eating? <laughs> Hold on, he's getting label. more. He's getting more. I'm feeding him the label of my wine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to it. Finally, number one. This year, I had an official voice of the Wrestling Mayhem show, which was before I became a mainstay on the show and before I went to the Mayhem Studios myself to be on the Wrestling Mayhem show. And the voice of the Riz was Chachi. However, one day, Chachi was out. He had knee surgery or sex change or whatever. So there was a void. There was no voice of the Riz. The Riz was voiceless. He, sh I didn't send an email that week. I was stunned. I was silent. That was, however, until I was instructed by the Wrestling Mayhem Show to be on the Wrestling Mayhem Show to be the voice of the voice of the Riz, and well. Uh, take note, Chachi was on some serious medication back then. But are we really taking all this time to, to read this email? Riz! We sure are. We, what, dude. Jesus yes. Hello? Riz, are you with us? Yes, I am. Uh, can you please read the email in question, Mr. Voice of Chachi? I, I will be happy to. <clears throat> and I quote. <laughs> Uh, yes, I made it all in one word. So what? There's not really much I have to say about, but I'm going. I, but I'm on drugs. So, <laughs> look at my dick, motherfucker. 
I said this before, Raw, so I can't comment on wrestling as I was furry hunting Friday and didn't watch. <laughs> uh, this is true. Us sucks. No, 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 no. No, that's UFC. UFC. <laughs> UFC sucks. No, I, I did not know that. Until next, <laughs> it's those screaming swear words. Peace out, ninjas. Chachi. In, in all fairness Thank to you, Riz, Riz, the only no, the wait, first wait, wait, letter wait. is the only thing that's capitalized. Hold on, hold on a second. I was like, oh, Riz can't hear you guys, so let him speak, and we'll, we'll yeah. go to you. Okay. The way that Chachi wrote this, <laughs> he's like our version of Jeff Hardy. <laughs> There's, There's a lot of, little no spacing. Yeah. And yeah. it's awesome. And he's on drugs. And for the thing, uh, for the UFC, uh, he, he said UFC, but it's capital UFC. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, yeah, he didn't. What kind of drugs is he on? Um, I, I don't know. I, good stuff, I guess. He's got some of these. No, yeah, he, whatever they give you after. Cat tears! Cat tears! Whatever they give you after knee surgery. I got so, you. Uh, oh, thank you, Riz, for joining us. And, uh, oh, I apologize oh. if I just showed your number on the air. Later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my look back on the on my memory lane of the Wrestling Mayhem show. And for me, my Westy Bella and my Hulk Hogan Wrestle Buddy, we wish you and yours a very safe holiday season and a happy new year. And we'll see you fuckers in 2012. Oh, hi there, Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> How are you doing there? Oh, it's the best of show? Yeah, best of. Awesome. Now it's time for my turn. It's my turn, the Wrestle Fans' turn, to tell you my best of moments from this year in the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, well, let's start this off. Let's start off with, obviously, the best episode of the Wrestling Mayhem Show when I was in the studio for the first time. I mean, come on, it was awesome. It was, you can't compare it to anything else. Chachi. Um, so, you know, it was a big night. You know, Russell Fan being there for the first time. You know, everything's going crazy and stuff in the studio. But let me just show you this clip. And let's just say I left out with a bang. Okay, okay I thought you were going to chop me. No, Never mind. Chop Never mind. There's a, there's a microphone in the way. Wrestle Fan, I want you to know that we care about you. Aww. Okay. And I want to show it in a very special way. Okay. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Chachi, move the, move this camera so it's got... Oh, there we go. Don't, don't do anything my mother wouldn't be proud of. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Everything I do, your mom's proud of. <laughs> That's where you came from. Let me move my mic out of the way. There you go. Oh. That's not your mic. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking of all these songs in my head to I sing really, the rest with I really hope this is none of okay. them are none of them okay, are good. Right. <laughs> I was, oh, okay, wrestle at least, fan you at least you're singing you got what, what I need. need wrestle fan you you got what I need. I'm too busy looking at Chuck Chuck's catching. You say just he's just a friend. And you say he's just a friend. I'm saving you! You got what I need! <laughs> <laughs> You traumatized like I am? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, next on the uh, best of for my segment, um, I used to be an emailer to the Wrestling Mayhem show. I used to send in those emails like crazy, and then I became part of the show. But there was one inspiration I had. There was one guy, one guy, that one inspired me to make those great emails. That I know they were great. Chachi, again. And that man made his return to the Wrestling Mayhem show this year. Check it out. Yeah, so. Holy crap. Hey, Sorg, we have a Holy new email. crap. What, what Lunchbox happened? needs to read the new email. We got 
What it was. Holy shit. What happened? <laughs> There's an email in the inbox. Wild card, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, for those who don't know, we have not gotten hey, one of these for a email. while. There's an old, old, old time email or uh, Juggalo Jamie joined oh, us once in the again. Chat room. <laughs> and, Tell uh, me he's in the goddamn chat room. This, uh, we, we, wait, 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 wait. So we're going to have Wolf Mail. And a juggler Jamie man. Shut up, it's juggler Your Jamie. Your mind's gonna explode Juggalo on this one, Jamie guys. Uh, uh, so, oh, oh shit. Oh, All right, LB, LB, put it to All it. Right. Put it to it. All right. Keep calm. Let's and, do this. Keep calm. Keep calm and carry on. <sighs> it is Juggalo Jamie, the title Wild Card Bitches. Hello, Lunchbox. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> wow. It's been while. This I lasted emailed. Maybe two or three years for all I know. Well, I haven't watched wrestling in months. Last time I watched TNA, there was no six-sided fun ring, but a four-sided piece of shit. <laughs> Damn it, old man Rivers had to kill the fun in tan and kill it. <laughs> Fuck WWE and where and it's whatever going on there. I'm awesome and so are boobs. Fuck small <laughs> boobs. <laughs> I went to Toronto in July, I think, and didn't bother telling my parents that I was going because I'm a wild card, bitches. <laughs> I'm so right more badass oh and more fun that I didn't tell them. I also got... I also got two jobs in one week, T.O., and didn't do anything to get them. I love drunken adventures. I also got kicked out of the same bar three times for drunking a lot in the same month. <laughs> I guess the bartender was jealous of my skills and whatnot. Next time, my email is going to be in 2015, for all I know. And they better have fucking power laces and tying shoes are impossible, right, guys? You have to work at Nazia to do shit like that. Nazia. And, and it just ends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, crying right now. Best email segment ever. <laughs> oh, my God. And the final clip, the final clip I have for you. Oh, my God. You see this clip? That is well known. It went a little bit under the radar. Just a little, a little, a little bit uh, under the radar. No, it's not my any minute segment, Chachi. Um, but let's just say it's a conversation between one DJ Lunchbox and one Chachi, and it gets a little sexy, and it gets a little technological. Um. Wow, the show is falling to pieces. <laughs> William, I blame it's you. Not, it's not my fault. <laughs> I, I'm not driving my cock into the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, William, stop fucking the tubes. I am not filleting Sorg's router, Chachi. <laughs> Unlike some people, Chachi. It's juicy. <laughs> what? Did you say it paid you? No, I said it's juicy. <laughs> Yeah, suck that router. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, folks. It's my best of moments, which means it's the best of all of them. No, I'm kidding. I'm not that self-centered about myself. Yes, I am. Don't really care what you think. But um, that's the best of. That was 2011. I hope you guys have a great 2012. Watch the Wrestling Mayhem show in 2012 because it's going to be bigger and better than ever. And, uh, if you excuse me, I have some business to take care of. So, uh, there you go. Go go vote for her so she can win $10,000, because she's not getting paid, obviously, at TNA. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, can we adopt wait. her? I mean, and so, you know, being, you know, hearing, hearing guys we know, like, getting, can, say, can we adopt her? Yes, that's what yes. he said. This is the new project. <laughs> So Wait, we'll put it up. There you go. Hey, that's enough. Copyright. For just a small donation, even you 
can help these wrestlers. <laughs> Please call 1-866-HELP-TNA. Help save the wrestler in need. Even you. Please, please send us your money today and help feed one of these poor wrestlers. Uh You need to stop that thing you're doing. I just dropped it. Guy on a buffalo. Yes, guy on a buffalo. Guy Guy on on a buffalo. Episode 42. (laughs) Episode meaning of life. Oh, it's buffering. Ah. Buffer, buffer, buffer. Oh, God. Oh my god, it's a guy on the buffalo. Oh, episode two. Not 40. Yeah, this episode two is the one. One day the guy on the buffalo hopped off to stretch the his hell? legs. Walk in the field. Hey, what's this in the weeds? It's a baby. Awesome. What the hell? Title is Guy on a Buffalo, Episode 2 Orphans, Cougars, and Whatnot. That's incredible. I need to download that immediately. <laughs> I want to see Episode 1. That was just Episode 2. I don't think That's Born cool. would be one of those people to violate this policy. <laughs> yes. which I don't is, think anyone did. Which is why I, I'm assuming that he was just caught smoking pot. Because he's not a big guy. But I, if I had to choose one of these. Um, did we say? Did they say what he got caught doing? No, no, okay. gazelle antlers, <laughs> so they could leap. All right, here's my problem with A. <laughs> what the fuck? That's awesome. <laughs> so he, he ground. No, Bobby's right. He ground up gazelle antlers and then snorted them. Okay, he can leap. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you say that. Wait, 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 wait. Say it, Bobby, one more time. <laughs> That's it's ridiculous because Please, please say it. Well, hold on. So we can leap. <laughs> it's ridiculous because it's just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.